morning everybody welcome to another video y'all guys have to help me with the intro right because i just don't know what to do anymore like we're not living in ghana welcome to our life in ghana welcome to our life in holland you guys help me think yeah anyway um i just went to the shop um, it's a saturday today so we're just gonna show you a saturday in our life in holland and my cousin my friend has her kid is turning one and she has a birthday party i'm not sure i can vlog that but look what i bought <gasps> ah! <laughs> this, these things make me want to have another baby so this is the gift that we found and this very cute so so cute and then kevin got her a small book so that's that and i am now i bought um okay, my English show. i don't know how you call this picture frames yes for the kids because the kids got their school picture done and they're so nice look at it oh my babies they've grown but what i'm really sad about is that like i had with my mom um I started the same thing basically i want to have a picture of them every year and i framed it and i hang it uh hang it up but now because we moved and then everything was in storage i found everything back literally stuff that i didn't even want anymore but the thing that is most precious to me their pictures i just can't find them anywhere and i'm like i'm devastated so i really hope that they pop up somewhere because i can't i need these pictures i really need these pictures so I'm now gonna hang it and um, yeah, welcome to a day in our life in Amsterdam. So I'm really used to vlogging on my phone, but I really want the quality to go up, so. Oh, I hope I find my other pictures because this is so cute. Can you imagine them from young to old? Only the ones in Ghana, oh, the school they gave us is not nice. It's not the same effect, but oh, this is so cute. So cute. I have such beautiful kids. Ah! How did I get so lucky, Sophie? What are you doing? I'm just happy that I have such beautiful, like, sweet children. Oh, oh my God, what? <laughs> I'm excited. You're really beautiful, do you know that? Don't let nobody tell you else. Okay. Where's my description? I don't know. So I made roti yesterday, but it was really, really watery. So I had to buy Olive's been there to give it a little more thickness so it wasn't that watery but the flavor is really really nice I didn't forget how to cook it's just that I didn't do it for a long time and especially the food that I love like Suriname food is my favorite food so that is like where I'm good in and yeah we're gonna keep trying and keep learning so that I can also master the art of cooking Ghanaian food so yeah that's the that's the goal for these um, coming months, learning how to cook Ghanaian food. So you guys, let's see what the kids are doing. Oh wait, let me show you my outfit first. I went shopping. How do I look? Great. Okay, let's see what the kids are doing. Fabulous. Thank you. Oh yeah, I put some, I don't really know how to apply makeup, but these things on my face were a little too much to so apply. You need a speed course. Yes, I do. So if you're in Amsterdam, you know how to do makeup and you want to teach me, let me know. Today is actually a really nice day. Like it's the first or the second day that is actually sunny. And no, the first day I'm outside and it's sunny because normally I pick up the kids, I go here and there. Anyway, I'm enjoying the sunshine and I've noticed that um, I miss the sun. Like my buddy misses the sun in Ghana. <laughs> theater of course so the lady is teaching theater to the kids isn't that amazing okay let's see if we can find sophie and mike
as you can see, Amsterdam is very mixed. Like there's black people, brown. Actually, I live in a suburb of Amsterdam, so it's not the city center itself. It's a little bit outside. I would not like to call the name because of privacy reasons, but here you can see that the Netherlands is quite mixed. So they're like Suriname people, um, black people, white people, Turkish people, Moroccan people, all of those. Exactly, I'm going to find them. I don't know. Let me call them so that I don't waste time because they would also want to show me a lot. You know how Sophie and Michael are always keen to show me stuff. Sophie, hi, where are you? I've been here. At the sign. Oh, here. Hi. Hello! Ik ga iets op mijn hand doen. Kijk wat ik heb gemaakt. Wow! So, Can we speak in English, please? Yeah, we have made this. Yes. We have made this. And what is and that? And this kind of drawing. Oh, beautiful! And right now let's, we're going to do something on our hands. Sure, let's Mama, see. Mama, can you know Jamairo from Swimless? Yes, show him. Hi, hij zit daar met mijn broertje, met Mike hè? Okay. Ik zag hem. Hij zei misschien, ken ik hem en ik ken hem waarschijnlijk ook. Very nice. Hi, my son. Mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something on my hand. Yeah, you're gonna put something. Aren't you hot? You can open your vest so that you... Are you cold? Are you cold? Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were cold. Dutch governments organize lots of things for kids and that is something that I really missed in Ghana. I'm not expecting government in Ghana to do that but the kids amenities, the kids really really miss that. So this is a whole festival especially for kids where they can do all kinds of nice stuff. So this is my best going to make a drawing. And the perfect thing is that basically everything is for free so it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're like what financial background you have, anybody can come here. Of course, there are certain things where you maybe pay for if you want food or drinks, but anybody can just come and have a wonderful time. So Sophie went around, and I am here in line waiting for them to do a henna tattoo. Micah found another activity while I am waiting in line. So he's going to make this little bird that are there. Can we see your henna? Wow, that's so, so beautiful. Are you happy? So now you have to let it dry. Wow, let me see yours. Oh my gosh, Micah, your name. That is so cool. Okay, guys, let's see what else is there and then we go to the party. So now you hold your hand. I still want to finish my drawing. You can't, Sophie Jane. The party has already started. Okay, All sure. All activities you don't have to, but for the things that you want to buy, you have you to have pay. You have to pay, yeah. Mm. This is like crystals and all of that. Okay. So this is like Moroccan, oh no, it's Turkish. Turkish food. Oh, yeah. Something from Ghana, Kente, Kente Club. So these are people who can help if you're sick or something like that. Yeah, 
guess even yeah. police here, yeah. they're they very nice. You don't even about. need to be scared but, uh, for them or care they're about your money or whatsoever. Police are very, very friendly. They are really here to serve and protect. I remember when, when Micah was young, he used to always see, oh my god, police! And then he would go and ask for a picture. And they would always give it to him. So, but I'm, I'm sure there are some negative experiences. But as far as I know, police is very nice here. Do you like the police in the Netherlands? Yeah, that's acting, Micah. They are acting. I also have a drama of my, of my school. Oh, nice. Very nice. And they have a theater. Where you can like show yourself. Oh, wow. What if I don't like it and then I want to remove it but I can't? You can't remove it. It will stay there for maybe two weeks. That is why you don't need to touch it at all. Have you seen? Yeah? Here all. Wow. So the person who's doing the, the barbecue is anonymous, we'll film him out of here. Maybe his tattoo, you can see who he is. For the ones who know, will know, yeah? Who is this person? Guess. How are you? Guys, do you remember him from the vlog when we went to the orphanage? That's Hi, him. how are you? This is no. So guys, come and meet my cousin. The last time that I saw you, you were until here, right? You were really small. So now I explained to him that this is my baby. I made her in Ghana. And he wouldn't believe me. But come on, guys. Don't you see the resemblance? <laughs> right? You're my baby, right? We made you in Ghana. How many subscribers do you have? Like what? 60,000? We, we need to up the subscribers. Well, how many was Tell it? them to subscribe to the channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. Kofi <laughs> said it. sorting everything for the party and all that so i'm also very tired now gonna have a shower sorry i couldn't vlog the birthday you know some people don't really like them being exposed on the internet and that is fine it's not everybody that enjoys vlogging so we also have to respect that but i did put some clips for you guys so i hope you still enjoy the video and we see you in the next one bye